In this AutoCAD tutorial, I want to go over some of the most basic uh, solid editing tools. And those are found here. We have Union, Subtract, and Intersect. Okay, so to do that, I'm just going to draw a couple of really, really basic shapes on my screen. Um, you know, right now I'm in the top view, and what I might do is just grab a polyline. I'm going to make a basic uh, cube, you know, maybe I'll make it uh, five feet by five feet. And really, I could have just used a primitive, but I chose to draw that one with a polyline. And then I'm just going to extrude up, uh, you know, maybe another five feet. So I just have a solid cube right now. Uh, and, you know, just to uh, be able to illustrate these tools easily, what I'm going to do is come over then to my primitives and perhaps grab a sphere. So with the sphere, what I'm going to do is just snap onto one of the corners of my uh, cube here. And the reason I picked this one is I know that when you use these, the sphere primitive, that you're going to be starting from the very center of that globe shape. So I know it's going to intersect my cube really nicely. And then for the radius, I'll give it a radius of maybe two feet. So when you look at this from the top view, you can see that it's snapped onto the corner. So it's basically, you know, one of the quadrants of the sphere is inside of that cube. And then I can see it over here as well. And if I use my 3D orbit, I can orbit around. So what I have are two solids with this, you know, wedge section um, where there's two solids basically existing in the same place, uh, which is something that in the long run, CAD isn't going to like very much. Whoops, I accidentally drew another sphere there. Okay, so what I want to do is just change that back to my yep, my isometric view um, so I can see this a little better. Now from the top, what I'm actually going to do, to zoom all, is make a couple of copies so I can see these different tools. So I'm just going to grab copy, select this little group, and then just make make two copies of that. So I can look at it over here in my isometric view. So I have three of them total. So for the first one, I'm just going to zoom in on that a little bit. And if I look a little closer, you'll see that if I select the, um, the cube, I have one distinct object. I'll hit escape. And then if I select the sphere, I have another distinct object. Um, if I switch from conceptual to something maybe like an x-ray view, we can see through it a little bit. So you see that there's actually the cube inside of the sphere and the other way around. This is a great way to actually make some complicated shapes by you know, having them sort of converge and you have, you know, different solids, um, you know, intersecting each other, but it's not good practice. It will not render well. And you have all sorts of other trouble in the long run. So you don't want to leave them that way. So what I could do with this one is choose to possibly union them together. And what that will do is really fuse these into one continuous object and it will get rid of any of these overlapping parts. To do that, I'm just going to come into my solid editing menu and grab that upper left button, the solid union. I'm going to pick that, and then I will pick these two objects. I'll pick the cube and the sphere, and then I'll hit enter. And when I do that, you'll see that that extra material inside the sphere is gone. Now if I select it, the entire thing selects, so it's one continuous shape. If I come over to the next one, where I have that original two solid situation, what I could use is subtract. What subtract will do is use one solid object to cut away at the other one. So let's say I wanted to keep this uh, cube shape, but use the circle to cut away at it. I could do that with subtract. So I'm going to pick the subtract tool. And the trick with this one is you pick the object you want to keep first. So I want to keep the cube. So I'm going to pick that one, hit enter, and now pick the sphere, enter. And that cut away that sphere-like shape out of that corner. So I'll just undo that and do it one more time. So with subtract, you select the object you want to keep first. So I'll pick the cube, 
hit enter, and now I'll pick this sphere, hit enter again, and that nicely cut away that shape. And that would be, you know, much more difficult to actually try to model, um, you know, in terms of surfaces or something. Um, but when you just use a solid, it cuts away. And now that also gives you the ability to see how this is solid. There's material inside of it. Um, it's not just surfaces. Then finally, we can do an intersection. So an intersection will get rid of everything except what's inside there. So I'll do intersection, pick these two solids, hit enter, and now it basically has just kept that curved wedge shape that we you know, used to cut away over here. So we have union, which fuses them together, subtract, which uses one solid to cut away at another, and intersect, which only keeps where there is actually two conflicting intersecting solids. If I change that back to conceptual, you can see what they look like when they're not uh, see-through.